Hey you guys, I am here outside of Vondelpark in Amsterdam. Look at this beautiful street here. Look at this beautiful street. So many streets look like this here. And there is a big chapel behind me, if you can see that. And I am walking towards uh, Vondelpark, which is supposed to be a gorgeous, beautiful nature retreat in the middle of this gorgeous city. It's funny because the whole city feels like a retreat. Um, and uh, you know what I want to talk about? I wanted to talk about, I know I promised I was going to talk about cholesterol, but I want to talk about something different. I want to talk about um, the brain. I want to talk about the problems that we have in America with depression, anxiety, um, um, and when you get older, dementia, Alzheimer's, um, so many problems that stem from the brain being off balanced. And it turns out that the solution to most of these illnesses is the keto lifestyle. The keto lifestyle is considered the anti-dementia lifestyle, the anti-Alzheimer's lifestyle, and the anti-depression lifestyle. That's because the brain needs fats to survive and thrive. And when people switch to the keto lifestyle, which is a combination of eating high fats, almost no carbs, and intermittent fasting, what happens is people completely reverse and cure their brain problems. Their anxiety goes away, their depression goes away, uh, they protect themselves from having Alzheimer's and dementia later in life. And so what you're doing is you're actually preparing yourself for a lifetime of longevity and a lifetime of full health with none of the brain issues and the mental health issues that we see in so many Americans. It's actually carbs, sugars, and vegetable oils that actually destroy the brain. And this is fully, fully documented by thousands and thousands of scientists and doctors. But of course, the, uh, you know, the U.S. government, you know, likes to, uh, you know, throw out the propaganda. And uh, the big pharmaceutical companies like to throw out the propaganda. Um, so it looks like here I am in the beginning of Vondel Park. Look at this, there's this beautiful little cafe behind me. Yes, here's the beginning of a little lake. This is just gorgeous. This is, this is reminiscent, it's reminiscent of Central Park. But anyways, I'm continuing my keto health series by chatting to you on my journey. And um, tomorrow, we will talk about cholesterol for sure. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye. A few more views of Vondel Park here. They said it was not cold, it was straight as Look at this, little hidden botanical gardens. Right here, right off the main trail. Look, each one of these circular areas has a different type of flower inside. This one looks like roses, which is my favorite because it's my last name. This is so beautiful. There's just all these beautiful streets with um, one of the things that's most striking is I don't know if you can see in the distance, but there's just bicycles parked everywhere, uh, which seems to be one of the main forms of transportation around here. I've almost gotten run over by many bikes since I've been here. <laughs> um, and then there's like these little corner pubs, like right in these residential neighborhoods, which is just so beautiful. And the vibe here is very, very chill. Like at all times, everyone just seems to be just relaxed. It may or may not have something to do with the smell of marijuana in the air that I smell pretty much nonstop. 
It may or may not have something to do with that, I'm not sure. So anyways, it's just a real delight walking through these beautiful neighborhoods. And with these, like, these little surprises, like all these little bars, little cafes, little coffee shops. Very nice. 